Okay. Uh, good evening, um, Lara from my side. Good afternoon. Um, good afternoon. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about um SNRC one today and maybe SNRC two. But before I continue, I want to say thank you for making it so easy for me because your hard work um is making everything so easy for me to mentor you. Like I always said that this the business of trading is you versus uh the chart. So that is why you you seriously need to, you know, uh learn and look at the chart and trying to practicalize what you have been taught. The moment you start um getting familiar with the chart, getting familiar with how price move, uh, the the chart will become so easy and, and so simple for you to be able to make money. You will spot opportunities where others uh cannot spot. So that is the difference between myself and some uh, other students who have been trying to understand the 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 uh, the concept of. Uh, Fantastic Five. The difference between I and them is because I've been able to spend time on the chart to really backtest, practice, and master how price move in in respect to our Fantastic Five. And and I I really like the way you are putting in the effort on the chart to also see how this thing works. So thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate. Thank you. Yeah. Has my um homework been okay? Is everything okay there? Like you think? Yes, yes. Uh, I think the okay. for QM QMC, right? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. It's okay. It's okay. If okay. um if it's not okay, I will ask you to go and submit another one. Uh -huh. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So um. The concept of SNRC one is is as simple. Uh, on SNRC one is the simplest setup to spot, but I think um is not the simplest setup to spot. I think the simplest setup among them is the blind spot, but also SNRC one is simple to to spot on the chart. Although it does not happen uh quite often there are times i will trade for the past two weeks i will see snrc one but there are times the the price price will just create them for me then i will i will see them and then i will trade so we really have to know them so that we don't know which one the market is going to present to us per day or within the week so that is why we we really have to be familiar with all of them so that whichever one the market give us will be able to take the opportunity. So the concept of SNRC1 is as simple as this. SNRC1 is a continuation setup. Like we talk about um, um, all the setup, we talk about a setup that are reversal setup and also continuation setup. So SNRC1 fall under continuation setup. The last time we, uh, we discussed about, uh, um, I think our, our last class was on QMC. Yeah, QMC is also a continuation setup. So like I said, it happened after a trend reversal has occurred. Also, SNRC1 also happened when the trend has already established. So it support that that trend is likely to continue going in its intending direction. If the market is going, was going down bearish, it shows that okay, it's likely to continue going down bearish or the market will likely to continue going down bullish. So it is a continuation setup. So um let me draw so here the market is moving in an uptrend for instance you know the market create um a resistance area a sharp resistance area or strong resistance so what we'll talk about strong resistance means sharp resistance area the market retreats back down and then the market break this resistance but before the market break resistance creates um a rally base rally before the market finally break this resistance so in this wise we have to um you will do you will mark up your line like this so when you mark mm -hmm. up your line you have to make sure that this horizontal line you put at the resistance area is aligned with the rally base rally zone 
if the line is not aligned with the rally base rally zone, it is not an SNRC uh, one. So we have to make sure that the line align with a rally base rally zone. So when you see this on the chart, it is an SNRC one. So in this wise, we can look for trading opportunities. So now you have to mark your rectangular box like this. So your, your rectangular box is going to cover uh, is going to cover the base candle. The rally base rally, or uh, the candle that uh, form the base is where uh, the candle is going to determine the thickness of your box. So you are going to mark body to body of the base candle. So I'm going to show you practically. So when you mark it like this, for you to have enough confidence to take the trade, you have to go to the higher time frame, the next time frame, it, if it happened, Let's say SNRC one happened on M15 time frame. So we have to go to M30 time frame to H1 time frame to look for confirmation, either bullish and golden or bearish and golden as confirmation, or um full body candle or momentum candle uh, as confirmation. So we have to also make sure that the bearish and golden or the bullish and golden or the confirmation candle has not touched the danger zone yet has not touched the danger zone yet. So do not worry when, not, when I'm talking about the danger zone, I'm going to explain. So once you find your, um, are you there? Yes, I am. Yeah. So once you find your uh, confirmation, then you wait for market to come back to this point, then we buy here. Market is going to come back here and then we buy to go back up bullish. So this is how SNRC1 works. So let's look at SNRC1 for sell. So the market is going down, already in a downtrend. The market form a support area, strong support area, and the market retrace back up. And then before the market break the support, the market create a, a drop base drop. So you have to make sure that this drop base drop align with the uh, align with the strong support. So if the market is this, it's like this. If the if the SNRS one is like this, for instance, maybe the drop base drop happen like this. Yeah, I see. I saw a lot of those happen. Yeah. So if it happen like this, so first of all, you put your horizontal line at the support area. Uh, let me at the support area, and you see that the support area does not align with the drop base drop. So this is not a scenario C one. We can't consider this as a scenario C one. So, so it has to be, to be like a perfect alignment, like perfect. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. You have to be aligned before we can consider that as a scenario C one. So some people will just see something like this. Oh, they will say it's a SNRC one without considering the standard or the criteria that made out of SNRC one. So you have to take note of that before you go okay. ahead to place a trade. So now you, when you find out that the, the support area is uh, aligned with the uh, drop base drop, then you mark your line. You mark your box, I mean, you know, mark your box. Mm -hmm. So the thickness of your box depend on the box, I mean, on the base candle. And the okay. base candle is going to, we are going to mark from body to body of the candle. So you extend it and you wait for price. You go to the higher time frame to look for um confirmation. Then once you find confirmation, then you, you, you wait for price, you wait patiently for price to come to this area and then you sell. So you have to okay. be really uh, patient. Sometimes the market is going to test your patient. Maybe it will take one, two hours, three hours for market to come back. You really have to wait. You already uh, mark a point where you are going to put in your live money. So you don't have to be in hurry. So let me show you what happened today. So What's today, the max uh, time you can wait for an SR, uh, uh, SNRC one? 
For example, I've noticed that a lot of the times the price would just go up, for example, in a buy situation, it would never come back in the box, even okay. though there okay. is a setup. You know what I mean? Yes, How yes, long yes. should we wait? And if, let's say, it doesn't happen in a day, would you okay. drop that yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. order? Okay, it depends on the time frames. It depends on the time frames. You know, when SNRC1 happen on daily time frames, you mean it takes time to form um, on, on higher time frame. It takes time to form on daily time frames. Maybe we are going to wait. If we mm -hmm. find SNRC1 on daily, definitely maybe we may wait for the whole day, we'll wait for the next day, or even next two days for that uh, setup to play out. But if SNRC1 happen on M15 time frame, you know, it's a it's a smaller time frame, so everything is going to happen faster. If it happen on okay. um, M30 time frame, M50 time frame, we can definitely wait within the day. So let's say, um, in my experience, this setup happened more often during London session and New York session. For instance, if uh, SNIC one happen, let me show you. If SNRC1 happen on, uh, let's say you found SNRC1 on M30 time frame during London session. So it take lot, the whole London session to create SNRC1. And within the London, the market will start coming here. So maybe at a point we'll enter New York session. So once I see like this, I know that, okay, I know that London is already going and New York is coming. So um, um, this setup is going to happen in, in New York session because London has okay. already formed this setup. But if this setup form at London open, definitely we are going to have a trade in London session. But if this uh, setup happen uh, um, during London session, but at late hour, maybe towards um, mm -hmm. when New York is about to open. Definitely, this setup is going to play okay. out during New York session. So in my experience, when I come to the chart, I will look at the chart like this. I know that, okay, I'm going to have opportunities on New, on New York session. Oh, uh, okay, I'm going to have okay. opportunities on London session. Um, in my own side, a London session happened in the morning. So I, I know I'm going to have opportunities this morning. So uh, because of my experience, I know that this setup is going to play out. So if it is M30, lower time frame, like I said, and London happen like this, I will be waiting patiently. By New York, you see the market will be pushing. The moment it, the market get to this point, maybe at New York open towards to um, um open to the next one hour, the market will start dropping. That is when I'm going to I'm going to sell. So I wait. Okay. Or London and New York to see what I want to see. But in case I they created this setup on New London session and I was waiting, hoping that okay, the, the, the setup is going to play out on New York session, the market can just keep going down. So that is why we don't have a uh, hundred percent in forex trading. But 85% mm -hmm. of the time, price always come back to our respective setup, right? So in my experience. Price always come back to our setup for us to have opportunity. But there are days that you mark a setup and price will not come back there. Then what are you going to do? Are you going to kill yourself? You are not the the owner of the of the market. So you have to wait patiently for another opportunity, yeah. maybe another day. Then you make money. Okay. So let me show you something. Um, um would today, you place or would you place like an order there or would you wait to see how the market reacts in the box and then okay. place the order once it's there? Okay. Um, let me show you something first. Uh, my Telegram channel. Okay, this is... Uh, I shared this setup today on, on my private group. I shared this setup today yeah. on my private group. This setup happened actually in London... Uh, session happened early London session. I saw this setup today, so I send them this setup that because I don't send signal, I just send them setup. They know when to take the trade, when to wait yeah. for the market. So this happened on H4 time frame. 
So it happened on his four time frame. So I was expecting market to come back here and then I will sell. Guess what? I was waiting patiently. But because of how... the blind spot, right? I don't see, I don't yes, see an yes. SNR. Yes, that, that is, yes, that is a blind spot. That is a blind spot. So, so, um, guess what? I was waiting throughout the London towards uh, New York. So mm -hmm. at New York Open, the market was still struggling here. So uh, before I know the market, mm -hmm. look at the, the result, the market was like dropping. Then the market went back up, to, like as if it, 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 the price forgot something. The market went back up immediately, then give me a setup in a lower time frame. I was able to smash uh, 71 pips and my, my entry. I was I I hit take profit at seventy one pips right, so before mm -hmm. the market retraced back. So this is how we trade. So we're waiting patiently. Someone who cannot wait, maybe you think oh the market is going down. Let me sell. You see, by the time you sell here, yeah, the market went back up. You you'll be in massive yeah. loss, right? So you have to wait yeah. patiently. Sometimes the market will do as if it's going down, but definitely it's going to come up to pick our order, right? So I'm going to. I'll tell you something so let's go back to the chat was it the chat or i actually uh, remember so, when i sent you my gold uh, analysis and i took that qmc cell so yes. i've still been in it since then i didn't close the position i just closed it this yes. morning and yes you uh, were you were right tough. you were yes you were right i i made money from the setup but because of um i'm conscious of uh this month january market does not always uh, move as expected so i enter the trade uh let's look at it on h4 time frame yeah i entered the trade somewhere here then the market went back up i think another day i i entered this trade i, I made up to 61 pips so yeah the market was still, I mean, the setup was still valid, actually. So yesterday, before I was not on the chart, but before I came, the market retested the level, the QM level, and then dropped massively. Mm -hmm. So initially, yeah. this is where uh, if, if you take your last position, but learn to take, learn to be specific to close some position. So you must not wait for market to hit here. Maybe if you enter two position, and then you can you can um take some pashas. Maybe for me, if I, I get 100 pips, I'm out, then I always leave uh one position, that one position to hit my my last uh, TP in this way. Mm -hmm. So, but in this case, I close that last position when I discover the market is not ready to drop. But the market has been test uh, testing this uh, QM level, but finally it dropped. So I'm also I'm still expecting the market to drop. So look at this blind spot. If the market went back up again, the market retraced back to this point again. Let me pick this pen. The market went back up again and give us a sign to go down it will be another opportunity to sell back down bearish. So, but mm -hmm. let's see um, tomorrow, Friday. So now let me answer your question. Uh, for... I actually, this, uh, this trade, I uh, put my um, take profit on the rally base rally that's to the left. Okay. That little candle over there. The And it actually this... tapped in and I got, I got the this best one. profit. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, you are uh, you, yeah, fine, fine, fine. And I got definitely, out. Yes, definitely. Yes, yes. It's okay. It's okay. Because um <laughs> there are more there are more um buyers here who can actually push, yeah. you see, which they can yeah. actually reduce your profit. So putting yeah. your um uh, take TP here yeah, is fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Well done. So um I'm going to show you something as we proceed with our, our training. So I'm going to teach you how to maximize uh, a good risk to reward ratio. If you have uh -huh. two entries in a week, you will be very glad 
two entry in a week on gold, you'll be very glad you can hit 10, 15 percent. So mm -hmm. we mo we mustn't trade every day, but we only trade when market give us uh, opportunities. So we learn how to be patient and wait for the market to give us what we need to see and then we react. So uh, um, what will make me uh, set my pending order is, is um, if I find a setup on a lower time frame, then I'm going to set my pending order. Don't worry, I'm going to, I'm going to show you by the time we finish setup and we are discussing, I'm synchronizing the entire strategy. I'm going to show you how, when to set uh, set pending order, the time frame to set pending order, the right time to to set a pending order, so that you may not necessarily be on the chart, right? So maybe even though you are busy, the market can come and trigger your pending, and then put you into profit. Yeah. All right. Okay. So this is the concept or the criteria of a scenario one. So always look for confirmation. Confirmation is a kind of uh, 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 confidence. So like uh, this blind spot, you know, we use confirmation in all our setup, like this blind spot right here. What give me confidence? I was I, <clears throat> I was 100% sure that definitely I'm going to make some money here. So I wasn't afraid. I enter with uh, about four four position. I had, I mostly enter, two position, but today I enter up to four position, but I'm also using a good risk management. Because why? Why? Nice. Because I see something on the higher time frame. I see this bearish engulfing as confirmation mm -hmm. on that blind spot. So I know definitely the market is going to drop. At least I'm going to get 50 to 70 to 100 pips. But um, I managed to get uh, 71 pips, which is fine, super fine. All right, so... It, you must there are times i will get 200 pips on the trade there are times i will get 50 pips there are times i will get 70 pips there are times the market will not even go according to my expectations there are times i will have a stop loss hit which is fine uh, those are all part of trading so in as much as we are putting risk management into consideration we will still have enough to come back the next day no matter what happened so Let's look at some of the example of uh, SNRC1, all right? Okay. Are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, SNRC1, they happen, I trade them, but for the purpose of this lecture, uh, let me try to find them. Uh, Go on daily. I think I see one over there on daily, but okay, yeah, maybe. Yes, the. I've That's noticed, it. uh, Paul. I've noticed the uh, SNRC ones. They are more um, like better on a higher time frame versus the five fifteen minutes. Sometimes they don't happen, but if it's four hours or daily, which is kind of difficult to. Get, get because it takes time then they are a little more reliable that's what i've noticed okay yeah hello yes i am okay like i said before uh snc one does not uh, often yes happen. hello yeah so like in all our setup when a setup happen on the higher time frame it's it, it is more it is more um um I think it, it is more hundred percent sure that that setup is going to hold than when it happened on a smaller time frame. So not only a scenario one, but also but uh we know a market structure, we synchronize market structure, we know the trend of the market. So when we find a, a setup on a lower time frame in line with the trend of the market. Even though uh, the setup is coming from M5 time frame, we are going to take that trade. So I'm going to show you all of this. Uh, how to okay. trade. Okay. I'm going to show you how to trade Fantastic Five setup as a day trader. So when when you see uh, them happen on a higher time frame, like daily, um, uh, weekly, you also know what to do. I'm going to show you. Don't worry. 
So right now we are we are so consigned to to spot them, to know how to spot them, to know uh, the concept of um, all those setup. So uh, let's try to. I think we we have SNRC one on daily. Continue. So um this is a SNRC one. So for us to to be sure that it is a SNRC one, so we change to are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, we change to the line chart and then we mark this uh, sharp resistance area. So we put the horizontal line at the resistance area, the sharp area of our resistance. If you see that uh, this one fall under the rally base rally zone, right? So we go back to the candlestick and then we see that it also uh, align with the rally base rally. Rally yes. base rally, right? So we pick your rectangular box and then mark from the resistance area like I said, the thickness of your your box is going to be based on this uh, base candle. So this base candle, we are going to mark from body to body of the candle. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it back. So this is how we're going to mark it. It extend. Let me put the horizontal line back. Then... Since uh, as this SNRC one happen on daily, you can see it, it take more than um, um, some days. It takes some days for this market to play out. So it take about um, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, almost the whole week. This setup did not play out. But the, as the market come back to this uh, SNRC one, it's also, uh, I think, buy for the market, the market bought for about one, two, three, about three days, right? About three days before uh, the market give us another set of which is QMC, which one we trade this one uh, November last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made a lot of money on this particular setup. Uh, I think it was the last trade mm -hmm. for, for the year. So as the market come back to this point, then we look for buying opportunity because we found a SNRC one and we 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 we, we the setup meet all the criteria the strong resistance align with the rally base rally so we know that when price come here we're gonna wait for uh market to give us reasons to buy then we start buying so let's try to in your assignment, you are going to find all of them. You can look for SNRC one in different time frames. All right. I can't hear you very well. Can you maybe stop recording? And... Okay. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is that um, when we found these such opportunities on the daily time frame, you see the market mm -hmm. took some days to come to this setup. It also, um, we bought for about one, two, three, about three days, right? before uh, we're in like two, three days in profit. So our, uh, your take profit would have been at the previous high here where uh, the market was smashed, but it would have, we would have taken some partials and allow the remaining position to run to this point here because we know what we are okay. doing, all right? So the market created another setup, which this, this one is QMC. You remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Let's look for one more uh, SNRC one. So, but um, in your assignment, you are going to see them because you will take your time to look for them. So if they happen, this is GPP USD. Uh, they happen in M15 time. I've been trading them in M15 time frame M30. So you can look for SNRC one in your assignment in different time frames on GPB, on gold, USD. You will see them. NZD, USD, you are going to see uh, SNRC one. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
So let's look for one more. Let's go to, let's look at for H4 time frame. If we can find, okay. I think. Uh, okay, there is a SNRC one here. So this one. This is a strong support, I mean, strong resistance area, then rally, base, rally. So let's mm -hmm. see if um, our strong resistance area align with the rally, base, rally. So we change to line chart, then we put our uh, horizontal line. Okay. Yeah. You see uh, the rally, base, rally is within the uh, resistance area. So we mark. Mm -hmm our rectangular box. This happened on H4 time frame. So it took just uh, four hours for the market to, for this uh, setup to play out. So when it happened okay. also on H4 time frame, we can, the market can trigger within that day. Maybe it happened okay. on London session and in, in New York session, we can find a trade. So you see it, it, it took like four hours then the market trigger and started uh buying massively. We trade this one also with uh some of my mentee last year. So this is the concept of SNRC one. It is simple to spot, and you can spot them in all time frames, in all time frames, different time frames. Um uh, M30, M5, M15, um H1, daily, H4, even weekly time frame. So this is the criteria or the concept of uh, SNRC one. So um, you have to go and I think I want you to submit um seven screenshot of SNRC one. So if you yes okay. yeah if you get it right then we we qualify for the next um um training. So let's take them bit by bit. So I want you to really uh. Uh, understand them to really familiarize with them because once you know them, uh, the more you familiarize with them, the more you you can easily spot them when they happen on the chart. Like today, um, I sent a setup on that a blind spot on gold. I sent a setup on on the group, and some people uh said they didn't see a uh, the setup on the lower time frame for them to enter. But I see them everywhere. I told them it comes with it comes with a lot of practice. You need to practice to sharpen your eyes. So um, yes. yeah, to familiarize yourself. Once you are used to the setup, uh, the chart always the there is no week you will, you will not make money. Every week, if you have the ability to wait patiently, every week you will find entry on on GP 